Hello, internet people. Today, I'm feeling magical. And what's more magical than glowing mushrooms? So let's make some. To start with, we'll be taking my love for hot glue to a whole new level. I'll be using tons of it for this project, so if you're going to follow along, make sure you have plenty. I will also be using lots of parchment paper to serve as the crafting surface. I plan on creating three different types of hot glue mushrooms. So I found three different types of structures on which the mushrooms are going to live. The first one being this awesome piece of driftwood along with another piece of wood that was dried out and had lots of cool little holes and crevices in it. This third piece, I believe this is called a chola, Chala, not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but I got it from Hobby Lobby in the clearance section. Next, I'll be using two different types of fairy lights. If you're interested, the link for these will be in the description below. This first type of mushroom is the easiest. For the caps, I just did small globs of hot glue onto the parchment paper, let it cool for about two minutes while it was still a little bendable so I can make it a little bit curved. Then, after everything was cooled off and dried, I used scissors to shape them up a bit. For the stems, I am taking the fairy lights and twisting them so the light is at the top. And once that was done, I hot glued each stem and light. This will not only hold everything in place, but it will also make a better surface for painting. Now adding the caps onto the stems with hot glue, of course. And once everything was dry, I painted it with just plain white paint. I wish I had an airbrush. I would have totally used an airbrush over a brush, a regular brush with paint. Brush strokes, especially on hot glue, are very apparent, but the issue is the more layers of paint you add on top of it makes the light more dim. So I couldn't just add more layers to cover up the brush strokes because it would make the light less lighted, less glowy, if you know what I mean. was probably unnecessary, but I didn't want to glue the battery pack directly to the wood in case I ever needed to change out the battery or whatever. So I created a hot glue band-aid strap thing to hold it in place instead. Like I said, probably unnecessary. Now that I have decided where my little shrooms are going to live, I glued them down with hot glue. Since hot glue doesn't dry clear and is painful when you touch it, I used Mod, Plo Mod Plodge, Mod Podge 
to glue down the moss instead. Mod Podge dries clear and it's just another amazing type of glue. The moss, however, is very messy. This is preserved moss that I also got from Hobby Lobby. But in, and in the future, I am tempted to use living moss. Perhaps in a terrarium? Is that a future video? I don't know. Maybe? I ultimately decided to make these mushrooms red with spots, the proper name being a fly aggregate, ag, agaric, ag, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, obviously I'm not pronouncing that right, but I used a sponge instead of a brush to help add texture and also cover up those brush strokes that I was not a fan of. For the second type of shroom, I started with cooking spray and a seashell. It wouldn't be me if it was random. This is what I am going for, so let's do it. I sprayed each shell with cooking spray and then covered it in hot glue, making sure to have an even amount pooled around it. To create the top surface, I hot glued a wide, long strip, and while the glue was still hot, I pressed the shell mold into it, binding the two together to make the flat top. Now, for the most difficult part of this particular project, stringing the lights through the chola. We're gonna say chola. I'm still not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I used some extra long tweezers to help with this. This was difficult because each hole was just a little too small for the tweezers, and also the wires in the fairy lights were fragile-ish. I didn't want to damage the wire of the fairy lights, so I had to be extra careful when trying to pull them through, but I also needed to pull them through, so it was like, it took some time to make this happen. But I finally got it, and now it's time to paint. I wanted to contrast the natural color of the chola, so I searched blue mushroom and came across something called a turkey tail, which is exactly the type of mushroom that I was creating. And once again, I attached everything with hot glue, of course. For this last craft, I wanted the mushroom shape to be more dome or bell shaped, like this picture here. So after many trials, I came up with this. This is called a church key. I didn't know that until uh, now. It pokes holes in cans. And the purple thing is a clay roller. So once again, I used cooking spray and then I applied hot glue all over the end. This was the most complicated part of the project. I felt like I was a glass blower that has to like constantly keep everything moving so glass doesn't just drip and glob down, you know? It's exactly what it felt like to me even though I've never done glass blowing, but the trick is to keep the device turning and moving so the hot glue won't fall off. But 
You also want to guide the glue into place. I held it upside down every so often, so it would help make that like pointy dome shape. And eventually the glue will cool off and harden. And once that's done, it will be easy to peel off. So these fairy lights are different from the other ones. They plug into an outlet and are controlled with an app on my phone. I repeated the same process of twisting the strand, hot gluing the stems, and attaching the caps, then gluing them to the driftwood and using Mod Podge to glue down the moss. Mm -hmm. 